Hi, it's Diane Haggerty from the Haggerty Group, and Brian and I today are going to be talking to you about the mortgage foreclosure freeze and how it affects you on a personal level and how it affects our local economy and our market. So it's October 15th now and everything has been unraveling on the news. It's all been talked about how it's politically based since we've got a very important election coming up in November. I kind of have no doubt that it's a little politically driven. Also, um, some of the things that people have been asking us and calling us that we wanted just to give you the information on a mass media level is what does this mean for you if you've received a notice of foreclosure or that you already are behind or foresee that you're going to be behind in the future on your mortgage payment? Okay, Diane. Well, if you've received a notice of default or any other type of notice like that, a legal notice, basically what that notice is saying is that the lender is giving court notification that you're in default, you're behind on your payments. And it also will, will allow you, the homeowner, to bring your payments up to speed within a specific period of time before the pre-foreclosure activities actually begin. Okay, Brian. So how would that also affect somebody who's going to purchase or may already have a house under contract that that house is a bank-owned property? Does that mean they can't move in or they can't settle on that property? Okay, Diane, that's a great question. How does this affect you as a buyer? Let's say you're buying a bank-owned property. Well, how does that affect you? Are you going to be able to close on time? Well, it's a great question. And the lenders and servicers that we are working with, we, are, we have the understanding that all these transactions that are under contract are still scheduled to close on time. So we're expecting them to close on time. Now, how do you see this affecting the regular seller, the traditional seller, somebody that maybe it's time for them to retire, head down to Florida before it gets too cold up here? Well, Diane, that's a great question. How does the moratorium affect traditional sellers? Well, that's great news for you, because think about it. If the banks take all the homes off the market, woohoo! you should be excited, because that way you're going to get top dollar because, again, supply and demand. The supply is now dropped. Demand is always steady or increasing, which means you're going to get more money for your property. But don't wait to list your home. If this moratorium stays in play, you need to get your home on the market right away. And that's why you need to call us. And Brian, if I could ask this one last question, how do you see that this is going to affect our local area market in the short term? It sounds like it's something that might just be a short term effect. I know the market has been very topsy-turvy this last 2010. It's been up, it's been down, it's been properties have been increasing in value and they dip back down and then go back up again. Where do you see this mortgage freeze affecting our economy and our local housing economy? Okay, short term, what's going to happen in the short term as far as this, if the moratorium stays in effect? Well, it's going to be great news for regular traditional sellers. No more competing with bank-owned properties. That is going to be a sigh of relief for traditional sellers because over the last several years, that's who you've been competing with is bank-owned properties and, of course, short sales. Now, long term, I think this could be setting up the housing market for long-term economic hardship. Okay? Eventually, these homes are going to have to make it back onto the market. They're, once they hit that pipeline, which it could take a while to hit that pipeline if they actually freeze and stop these foreclosures from proceeding, but it could take years thus putting a damper on any signs of any economic recovery which could be delayed again for many many years and of course nobody wants that to happen well thank you very much brian for taking the time to answer the questions and if you have any questions for brian or myself please feel free to call us at 703-530-2901 we're here to answer any of your questions and we hope that you make it a great day